Hello. Okay, I guess we're ready to go. All right. Now, let's take it from the top. Everybody's talking about this fight. That's supposed to be coming up. With Mayweather and Pacquiao, but... All right. We should be done off that right now. We got things coming up with Marquez and... And Juan Diaz, too. And to tell you the truth, I can't pick a winner. But I go with who's hot and who's not. And I'll take Marquez as the winner because Diaz hasn't been looking great in his fights. Even though age should probably be kicking in for Marquez. So that's my prediction on that. But this is about something else. This is about Ross Greenberg and HBO versus Golden Boy. Now I know I've written and texted a couple of people and was telling them what was going on behind the scenes. But in case you are blind to what's going on behind the scenes, Golden Boy was given a lot of power and a lot of money from HBO since they got started in the business. Um, Bob Arum, Don King, and a lot of the big name promoters were put on hiatus. And Bob Arum had to put on a couple of pay-per-views of his own with some of his major stars because he couldn't get the fight dates and he didn't want to do fights with Golden Boy. He didn't want to play ball. Don King decided to play ball with Golden Boy because that was the shot he had. Aram decided not to. So when Aram and Golden Boy patched things up and became bosom buddies again, and they settled on the Manny Pacquiao situation, HBO let them back in the door and started letting them do fights and giving them some of the dates they were working with each other and King was out. And that's how... It, Basically, it went down, but HBO, being the people that they are, they didn't even want to pay Floyd Mayweather what they had to pay him. That's why he retired, and part of his negotiation. He has a contract, I told you, he gets paid $15 million a year. Well, not a year, but per fight from HBO, period. He's assigned the HBO pay-per-view as a fighter. Now, how long his contract is, nobody knows, but this is why he gets a large percentage of his money, plus he has sponsorships that pays him a lot of money. So, this is a uh, situation that's happening now is that in 2008, well 2009 rather, no it was 08, 08 they lost a lot of money. They lost a lot of money in 08. So, when Floyd didn't fight that entire year, the numbers were dismal. So, they had to come up with a situation where they never go back to 2008 again after a big year of 2007. Golden Boy has not lived up to his promise as saving boxing at the dark or world championship boxing which they always use them as a headliner. That's why you normally see Golden Boy promotions by a Golden Boy fighter fighting a top ranked fighter or somebody else fighter. But a Golden Boy fighter will always be involved in these events. That's starting to change now because the ratings, they weren't giving a good show, a good ratings. We were getting horrible fights being put on Boxing Out the Dark and World Championship Boxing. I mean, to even try to save some of the numbers, they let Oscar De La Hoya fight, uh, what's his name, Steve Forbes, on HBO to try to make everything all right with HBO. Now, this coming up fight with um, <clears throat> with Shane Mosley versus Sergio Mora, HBO declined. This is the first time Golden Boy has been declined for a fight that was presented by HBO. They, so they're going to go ahead and promote it on their own because they believe on the fight. They're not going to put it on regular HBO. And this is just to spite HBO because HBO wants that fight on World Championship Boxing or Boxing at the Dark. They don't feel Shane Mosley can pull in any numbers even though he just came off the biggest pay-per-view of his fighting career. They don't believe in the numbers that he did. So with that being said, who's his dance partner? Mora, who is no Floyd Mayweather. So they really don't care for him too much anyway. 
and <clears throat> with the Mayweather fight pretty much happening in May of next year with Pacquiao, so they're already looking for that quarter to be huge. So they want to end this on a positive note. They're only going to take big fights. They're not doing any more Klitschko fights because they don't pan out. So Golden Boy Fight Card was pretty much a pay-per-view. Then when they air it on HBO, they can have some other fights scheduled that week where they can do a cross-promotion and try to sell the fight, the pay-per-view fight again. But the thing is, nobody's going to want to see the Shane Mosley Moore fight again after after the pay-per-view they believe and if you're not going to do over 500,000 pay-per-view buys HBO really don't want it and they don't see over 500,000 buys on this fight so it's just a business decision but they're leaning towards Bob Arum and top rank because Bob Arum is better at producing young talent because they've been around longer Golden Boy hasn't been around 10 years they haven't even been around 10 years. It's a new company, really. And they had the rings early. But they're a new company. Bob Aaron's been doing this for 40 years or more. And they know how to develop talent. Gamboa, Lopez, they're ready to roll. But that's where they're at right now. And if they don't change it, you know... You saw boxing out the dog go before, and he had no problem kicking that out again. That's a hundred and fifty million dollars a year he pays for boxing. So the ratings better shoot up. Something's gotta happen.